Welcome to a new video. I feel that this video, uh, not vlog, but video, is gonna be quite special once again because finally I'm gonna answer one of the most asked questions I've had recently, both on YouTube, Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. But yeah, I've been asked so many times, what is your gear setup? What cameras do you have? What projector as well? And I thought that today is the day I'm gonna reveal what's in my camera bag. But before, but before, Right, beauty of the GH5, no autofocus. But before we get started into that video, I wanted to ask you if you could leave a little thumbs up because it just helps the YouTube algorithm and everything and it's, and it's free to do. And if you want to subscribe also to the channel, please do so, it will really means a lot to me. And as you can see, I'm in a new location. Moved in here a couple of days ago. Villa Sorgas and I'm sure you know this place from the vlogs that we did back then with Yoon. This place is owned by Jacob, one of my best friends and he's the co-founder and CEO at Tampa Hills and this has been his home for the past six years so yeah so happy to be back here. But yeah I moved in a couple days ago and I finally managed to get all my gear sorted in my wardrobe and everything which I love to do when I check in in a new place and today I thought that why not maybe now that I have everything sorted I can finally reveal and show you guys absolutely everything about my actual 2021 video camera setup and live setup in general yeah let's get upstairs get all the gears bring them down and then I can show you everything so as you can see I have all my gears set up here I think soon I'm gonna head back to Europe because I have a couple of things that I need to do back in Europe but I'll come to this a bit later let's take everything go down and get this thing started how am I supposed to do it Looks like I have everything now. And that's nicer like this. Okay, let's dive into it now. It's already really sunset, so there's almost no light and I'm filming everything on this GH5. Maybe we should start with the GH5. So the camera that I've been filming most of the videos on this channel is the GH5 that I'm guessing absolutely everyone might know already. Okay, so why do I use the GH5? Uh, low light is pretty bad. Autofocus is useless. What else? I think there's many other negative aspects. Despite that, uh, the GH5 is actually a really, really decent camera. I mean, for me, it does the job, except the fact that every time that I vlog and talk to the camera and show some other stuff, I have to press on the focus so it gets the focus correctly, depending on what I film and so on. That's very annoying. Right, beauty of the GH5. But in terms of functions, I mean, 4K, 60, 1080, 180 frames per second, super incredible stabilization. That's basically all the thing that I need. And to take photos, it's like, it's not good, but it's it's okay. Like it, it worked when I did the shooting at Villa Sola and... If you haven't seen it's in this video up here yeah i mean it works it works enough but soon i will change and yes it's gonna feel really good to have a proper autofocus and low light camera i don't think i'll actually tell you directly now which one i'm gonna get but let me know down in the comments if you think you know what it is if i tell you it's incredible for photos for videos and it has insane low light and it's not the canon r5 it's not canon sorry canon i like you guys but i wanted to try something a bit different let's move to the next one <laughs> So, what do I have here? This is something that travels absolutely all the time with me. That's where I put all my SD cards in. Uh, this is the micro from DB and I'm pretty sure this is completely sold out. That was the thing we released last year. This is where I put my SD card and micro SD card. Then let's start with the GoPros. But before I show you my GoPros, and especially one of them that is kind of a secret GoPro that I've never shown before, let me introduce you to today's sponsor of the video, which is no, the VPN. So you don't know what a VPN is? I'm pretty sure you know by then if you watched my videos previously, I've worked with no VPN in the past. The VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And basically what it means is it secures your internet traffic, encrypts it and reroutes it to a different server while changing your IP address. Yeah, so then you, sh 
you should be fine. I've actually been using NordVPN for the past years now, and that was actually way before they contacted me to sponsor those videos. Yeah, I've been using it a lot, both when I'm traveling or even when I'm back home. It allows me to get access to everything that I need to anywhere in the world without having issues to like, we all, all had the issue at least once where we cannot get access to something specific. And by using NordVPN and just changing your location, then you can get access to it. Whether I want to access, for example, my bank website when I'm not at home, if I want to watch series and I'm, for example, in France and I wanted to get access to the US ones. And same when I'm here, for example, in Indonesia, I don't have access to some websites. Same issue, NordVPN. Thank you so much. And it's also the fastest VPN out there. And it works on iPhone, iPad, Mac, Windows, Android, basically everything. And now, now, right now, you have the chance to get a really nice discount because they're offering 73% off and four months for free. And the only way to get this deal is to go to nordvpn.com slash Benny Ortega or to use my coupon code, which is also Benny Ortega, and then you can get access to it. But now let's go back into the video and let me show you what this secret GoPro is. I have two GoPro Max, so the 360 one that I absolutely love. One of my favorite camera of all time because you can shoot stuff, not think about the framing and think afterwards, which I kind of really like to do, so I don't have to overthink. Then I have three Hero 10, the one that just got released. If you haven't seen my video that I just posted before, here it is. It's one of my favorite videos so far. So then we have three GoPro 9s and two GoPro 6. And you might be wondering, why would you travel with a GoPro 6? This one is a very special GoPro. I'm not sure if I should tell you what I actually do on that one. Cause this, I mean, no, this video is about not keeping any secrets. So I will tell you what I do with this one. So this, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's written here, it's my macro one. This is the actual GoPro I've been using to all my recent super macro shots. For example, when I did the video about my ROG DB watch. <laughs> Also when I filmed the recent super close-up of the cats and everything for the last GoPro videos and also that praying mantis. Everything was shot on this. I'm not gonna show you exactly how this works, but this lens is actually unscrewed from its thread. And because I've been doing this, it unfocus the actual foc- wow. I tweaked it so the focus is not what it is supposed to be, but the focus is on close-up. So yeah, combining this plus the slow motion that this camera can record, plus the stability and all that stuff, I really like the creative angles that you can get with yeah, such a tiny setup. So this is why I travel with a GoPro 6. And this is my other GoPro 6 for the mini drone that I have on the other side, which I will tell you a bit after. On to the next ones. So for the GoPro, I have a bunch of accessories, but I didn't place anything here because it would have been such a mess. The one that I've been recently really using is this dome which is I think the brand is called Telesin. I used to have a G-Dome from my friend Chris Roger. Big shout out to you. Thank you for sending me the G-Dome. But I actually smacked it and it didn't work anymore. So I bought this one online recently because I wanted to do some videos uh, with the Hero 10. So yeah, now I have this one. On to the next part. Oh, can we take a second to admire this sunset that is happening? It's getting pinkish on the sky, which means it's getting dark and I'm getting stressed because GH5. <clears throat> Here, I have something that I've been having in my backpack for quite a long time now. It's the Omni Charge. Uh, I have no idea of the ref, but if you Google Omni Charge, I'm sure you will find it. Uh, it's a power bank that also powers a direct AC outlet, as you can see, which is pretty cool because then I never run out of power, especially when I'm exporting and this one is dying. This is something random to show you guys, but as you can see, USB outlet. And this is something that really excites me because it is so freaking fast. It has three USB-Cs. I can charge the computer on it, for example. So this is very handy. I love it. So I can charge everything. On to the next ones. It's getting really pinkish now. I always travel nowadays with two phones because since I'm not going back home for a long time sometimes, as now, for example, I've been here for almost five months, I travel with two phones in case I lose one, whatever happens to, I still have a spare one. And this one is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I might get the 13 soon when I get back home because I think for video purposes, it could be really, really good. I've been seeing lots of reviews lately. And this is a smaller one, which is the iPhone 11 Pro, I think. Pretty good one too. One of the questions that I've been asked the most is about this little guy. Yes, the question that I've been asked the most recently on Instagram. Each time I've been posting about the fact that I was watching a movie with my mini projector that is 
battery powered and everything. I mean, yeah, it sounds very attractive. So yeah, this is the actual one that I've been using recently. It's from Polaroid. I have no idea the exact model. On top of that, it is, as you can see, covered with some Velcro. So I cannot even tell you, but it is from Polaroid. But I would definitely not recommend this one because the battery is a bit limited. It's like just about to watch one movie and this thing dies. Also, it runs on a very old Android OS, which is pretty bad, like nice with the remote, but still it doesn't really work smoothly. YouTube doesn't work, Netflix doesn't work, all that stuff doesn't work. So I would not recommend this exact one, but if you just Google battery projectors on things like this, you can find so many new ones. Yeah, this is pretty sick. This is something I've been using very often recently. Plus this speaker that I've always also traveled with. I think it's the Bose Soundlink, something like this. It's pretty big, but yeah, if you want to project a nice movie and has some nice bass into your sound then this is the one to go to this is getting really dark and we're not even halfway i mean a bit this is also something that i've been asked quite a lot on how do i do my moving time lapses this is it i don't travel with a huge slider setup i don't Mosquito. Yeah, I don't want to travel with anything more than this. It's already enough. But this little thing, it's super handy. Uh, I would not recommend this thing either because it's very old and bulky. But I think there might be some recent one from different brands. I think this brand actually, they haven't done anything recently and they haven't even posted on social media. But the brand was called Rolocam. I don't know if you can see Rolocam. You have one button and like you have so many modes. You have time lapse mode, you have just rolling mode. But since it also has only one button to completely control, I think this is very bulky and yeah, you cannot Bluetooth control it from your phone or whatsoever, so this is a bit tricky. And it also runs on a small AAA battery, which dies super fast. So yeah, this is definitely not the most friendly tool, but I mean, it works and I absolutely love it. But yeah, I might have to upgrade this one to a different one. On to the next one. Okay, now it's getting challenging on another level. I don't know if I talk too much or this sunset was the fastest sunset I've ever seen, but let's continue on to the next ones. I mean, this is getting very cozy. Sela, come. Come, come, come. You wanna help me in the gear review? What do you wanna add? Which one is your favorite? No, she doesn't have too many favorite gears. Okay, let's continue. AirPods Pro, this we don't have to detail too much. The DJI Smart Controller. This is very, very nice. It's a bit big, I have to be honest, but it's very, very nice. The screen is super bright, way brighter than a phone. You don't have to plug your phone, which is super handy. It works so far, uh, it's honestly mind-blowing. So yeah, this is something I recommend. And talking about drone, this is the drone I've been using most of the time, except now that I shoot most on my PVs. But the main, main drone that I have is the DJI Mavic to zoom as you can see so I personally prefer the zoom over the pro because because of that zoom just simply the zoom is unbelievable it gives this like inspired look when you fly for example and you're completely zoomed in and then you see the background moving so fast and you rotate around the look of this thing is so freaking nice so that's that's exactly why I have the zoom instead of the pro but I'm actually waiting to receive a new one which is something I wanted to try for such a long time and DJI is thank you DJI is sending me one which I was kind of supposed to review in that video but then I wanted to do that video ASAP and it's unfortunately taking a bit longer than I expected to receive this thing in Indonesia but yeah the new one that I'm about to receive is the DJI Air 2S and this one is I mean I haven't even tried it but form factor it's so freaking small and in terms of performances and everything it's mind-blowing it I'm not gonna go too much into the details I'll probably tell you a bit more about it once I will have it on to the next stuff this is kind of unique because it's partially homemade. Homemade by a friend of mine, Tongi. You're the best. Thank you so much. Big shout out to you if you watch this video. But yeah, this mini drone is a base of a Beta FPV 95X, if I'm correct. Uh, this thing was upside down like this. Camera used to be up there. And yeah, filming on this mini DJI FPV camera is definitely not the highest quality you can get. So by flipping it upside down, you change all the components and stuff. And then you have this little 3D printed and this is where I put this mini guy, the GoPro Hero 6 Naked. I think it's called like this. Same, it has been made by my friend uh, Tongi. You just slide this in and you basically have a 20, I think this thing is like 20 grams compared to 200 on a normal GoPro. It's fun to fly. It's not really risky when you crash. I crashed it recently. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that? what? How did I manage to land on that thing? 
to just on that thing. Oh. Yes! Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh no, it's actually smart. And I managed to change some of the 3D printed components myself. And the beauty with this one is that it's so small, you can fly it almost anywhere. Like, honestly, anywhere. And I've been, that's the one I've been using recently. I'm also gonna receive some new of those. Thankfully, Beta FPV saw that I was using some of those and they're gonna send me the newest version of it. And I think it's called the Pavo 30 and it's an advanced version of it where you directly have the mount for the GoPro. It's gonna be more robust, love it, want to try it. It's back home already, thanks Beta FPV. But yeah, I use this remote, Tango 2 I think it's called, for this thing, nice, but I wish I could use the DJI one. I cannot, I think. I use also another set of DJI goggles, which are the V1. I think I could use the V2 for that drone. Not sure how to pair it and if it would work smoothly. Yeah, I just thought it was easy to just bring another pair. And now let's switch to the actual real FPV ones. So this is the DJI FPV and this is another DJI FPV. And those are the actual FPV drones that I've been using recently. Those are the two units that I got from DJI before it was released back in February and I did that video. And since then, I've been traveling with these two. I haven't crashed them. I think I haven't crashed them once. Touch wood. I really, really like those FPVs. They're, I don't even know why people are still flying homemade, except this one, homemade FPV. I guess, yeah, it's maybe more sporty and you can do more freestyle stuff. But if you want to do cinematic stuff, I don't see why you should not get one of those. I mean, it's like the amount of time I was going pretty far, I lost connection. And if I would have lost connection with a homemade FPV, disappeared but this actual thing is returning to home which is sick because then it allows you to risk it and to go a bit further than uh, what you could with the other ones but and it also avoids the obstacle when you have the obstacle of redundance on which I usually don't have and yes as you can see I have a little extra mount on one. This is a personal choice. Some people like the actual DJI camera. I personally think that I'm not a good pilot and I need extra stabilization. So I like to have a GoPro on top and then I can use GoPro plus the program Real Steady to stabilize all my footage. But yeah, I have this little 3D printed mount. The drone flies almost like normal. Of course, the battery life is gonna be a bit shorter because you add extra weight on it. It is my go-to drone, FPV drone, and I have the DJI V2 goggles and the remote as well. Whew. That was a lot. Okay, what else do I have that I haven't talked about? Ooh, this, this, and this. So this is from 270 Pro, the brand, and it's called the Backpack S. It's a carbon fiber pole that extends to 270 meters. And this is the one that I use for most of the GoPro shots and And the, um, especially the max because then you can extend it. I mean, almost three meters for GoPro Max is absolutely perfect. And then it also disappears in the shot, which is pretty sick. This is a pretty sick, super small uh, dome I've been using from Ekelit. And this little thing is the one that I've been shooting all of those shots. has the, the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Super tiny compact camera, which I personally really, really like for two specific reasons. One is the super slow motion shots because you can shoot all the way to thousands frames per second, which doesn't look so good, but if you use it correctly, it actually does look pretty good. This has been shot at a thousand frames per second on this thing three years ago. And the second thing is that it can shoot 120 frames per second at full HD with pretty smooth autofocus. So there's not so many actual camera setup that have this underwater. So yeah, this is why I use this little underwater setup. And it also is pretty good for photos. On to the next one. Ugh. Okay, sorry. On to the computer setup. So this is also one of the questions I've been asked quite a lot. What computer setup do I use when I travel? And look at this black ground. I miss my 
Colette. Yeah, beautiful photo from Antoine Truchet, one of my good friends in France, very incredible photographer. This is the MacBook Pro 16 inch and fully spec, so yeah, everything to the max. And this thing is actually getting pretty slow now, so I'll probably have to dismount all of that and remove all the dust that it is inside because I think traveling a lot with those machines gives you a lot of dust inside and then slow it down. But yeah, this is my go to computer, and I hope Apple is gonna please release an M1 16 inch MacBook Pro because I'll be the first one to buy it because I want a faster computer than this and if you're wondering why I have all those velcro here there and here it's because first I use this mini SSD drive from SanDisk 2 terabyte that's where I put all my footage on and I can strap it plug it up open the computer the thing stays on I can travel I can export on the go this is always good and also this is one of my biggest prides, so I feel that I have to show you because I have this projector and I don't always have a tripod with me I put some velcro in the back put some velcro on my computer attach it together like this and then you basically have a tripod on the go and you can angle it in different ways you put something under boom you have your projector on your on your wall or you can even and that's my best trick you can place it like this vertical and then and then you lay down and you watch your movie on your ceiling and that's when you're in bed and you watch a movie facing up let me tell you it is the best setup to watch a movie and last but not least and last but not least, I'm actually not sure if I can tell you about this one. I mean, you know the shape. It is a TV hugger, 30 liter, but this actually unit is a very special one. Oh, I think I've said too much already. I've been working on something very special with DB over the past few months, which I'm probably gonna tell you in the next couple of videos. Uh, but this is something quite unique uh, that has not really been done before at DB because it has one special feature that makes it way better in a really good way, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm probably gonna tell you more about it later. And very last and not least, since we're talking about absolutely everything that I travel with, clothing wise, yes, only c'est normal. And I've seen a couple of questions recently, especially on the last GoPro video. And if you want to know when next drop is, you should definitely follow c'est normal on Instagram because it might happen sooner than expected. So yeah, I hope you guys like this very different video. It was very special for me to finally reveal what I travel with. And I have to be honest, I am very looking forward to change this setup and also to get something that I've been wanting to get for a very long time, which is a good slow-mo camera. I don't know if you've heard about this free fly wave, 420 frames per second in 4K. So yeah, hopefully in the next couple of months, I'll be able to get my hands on one and finally shoot some real slow -mo stuff thank you guys so much for watching as i said again please give me a little thumbs up if you thought that this video was useful and if you aren't subscribed yet it's good for the algorithm and it's good for you to not miss out also the upcoming videos which some of them in the next few days are going to be very exciting you will see i hope everyone is happy healthy and having a good time yeah until then see you in the next video Oh, and I forgot to tell you, but of course, if you have any questions, please let me know down under in the comments and I'll try to answer most of them. And if there is too many, I will maybe do another video. Why not? I mean, it was pretty fun to do. See you guys.